So thanks guys for joining today's webinar. We're looking at um, some more batch four sites. That is, if you guys have any questions about sites, and the goal of this webinar is to review sites before you actually deliver them to your elite word apper so that I can give some feedback. And also if you have some problems with um, the order sheet, the keyword research, or actually the setup of the site, I can actually help you through a bit and, and you can help each other as well there. So who is working all on their batch four right now? I know Tracy is still working on a site and she is very, very, very late with delivering it. So I'm really expecting that site very soon. Otherwise I will have to give it to someone else. Linda, you're working on a site. Um, uh, Johanna, are you working on a site too? Yeah, I've only just started today. As I told you on Friday, yeah. I, won't, I wouldn't be working till Monday. So it's- Johanna, are you working on now. a site as well? Yes, I, I worked, but I think, um, well, I have returned it actually. I made some, some uh, fixes today. Okay. But uh, actually I have delivered it already. You delivered it already. That's good. Yes. Okay. So do you guys, I mean, this is what I said always. I mean, this is a very informal webinar, so we're not really doing anything here with presentations or things like that. Um, do you guys have anything you want to look at in particular? Like if you send me your own site in the chat that I can look at, or do you have any specific questions or? Or nothing really. Joanna, maybe you should look at your site. Uh, yeah, actually I have one question. I okay. had problems with footer in mobile, uh, mobile view. Okay. So what's your site? Can you just send it in the chat? Then yeah. I can look at it. <laughs> yes, because it's really very hard very finished. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> that is very finished indeed. <laughs> yes. Let me share my screen and let's see what we can make of this. Um, <clears throat> this screen, I guess. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. So we just log in through the website manager, which is always easy. There we go. So guys, what do you guys think? Good side, bad side, interesting, not interesting. Linda, you always have some feedback. What do you think? Sorry. Um... Is it about archery? Yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> so we got yes. that right. That's Good. <laughs> That's clear. But it is quite dark, but it could be my screen. I'm, I'm struggling with sunlight through my window at the moment. It's ah, yeah. Dark, but I don't think it's too annoying. No, really. it, it could be my, as I say, it could be my screen. I, I need oh. to shut the curtains. Let me shut, move my I think, I think the colors looks different than in my, in my computer. Yeah, that could be. So this is always one of the things that you have when you build sites like this. I mean, check it on your own computer, check it on a phone, and if at all possible, try to do a third device as well, either another computer or another phone, just to see the differences there. Um, actually at WordApp, we, we, we used to have an office. We don't have an office anymore. Everyone works from home, but uh, we still have um, two very old iPhone 4s in circulation. Dem has one and I have one. And whenever we're building websites for our own sites, we always check them on a very old iPhone just to see if it works there as well. Because usually, I mean, when you're working on a bigger screen, you can see way more information. So if you take a very old phone, all of a sudden things change a little bit. So it's, it's always advisable to check it on different devices. Um, I haven't seen this site before, of course. So I'm just checking some links and see if that all makes sense. That seems to work. See this one as well. So when you're checking a site, always check all the links and see if they're going to the correct places. Is this going to the same place? No, okay. One of the things, Johanna, when you're doing a template for, um, for sites like this, uh, and you haven't built the template, of course, I just wanna repeat it, I mean, for Sana as well, and you can tell Sana that. When you have links like this as a sub keywords, always use the rule not first, not last, so that you don't have to change the capitalization and things on it. Because mm. it's very annoying to do. And I guess you did it manually, right? Yes. 
Okay. Yes, I so did. It, it's good. I mean, you saw it. It's very good, but um, you can fix it in the template by just adjusting the rule a little bit. Then it just becomes a bit easier there. Um, this link we already had, right? Or So you have two links to the same page here, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not ideal. Uh, try uh -huh. to keep, I mean, one link. I mean, otherwise you're really bombarding it and, and you're confusing Google a little bit with that. So try to do one link, I mean, to another page and not more than one. For the rest, I think it looks pretty good, actually, this homepage. We'll look at the footer in a little bit because uh, you had some questions there. This looks good. This picture seems a little bit blurry, like probably the image is a bit too small, small for this. So if you have a higher image resolution there, it's better. Very good, so you have changed the name. That's nice always to see. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So what, what was the issue that you had on the, on the footer? Uh, the middle part, where is the, uh, the the content. Mm -hmm. So it's those, uh, those texts which are in white, they are not visible at all in mobile. And okay. I didn't, I don't know how to, how to fix it. No, you're so, right. That's yeah. funny. I, I tried everything, but I couldn't. So how did you do the footer? Did you use um, Elementor for it or did you do it with customize the Neve team? I did it with Team Builder. Oh, with Team Builder, you yes, did. yes. Okay, then we go there. Does everybody else know what I'm talking about with Johanna? Because Johanna seems to understand me. That's good. Claire, did you <laughs> understand as well? <laughs> but yeah, yes. No, I didn't quite understand as fully. Um, I'm always taking all these things away. They just distract I me. I don't like it. I just um, today changed the, the uh, language to Finnish. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, my Finnish is not good, but I know the backend pretty well. But for everyone else's sake, I'll just put it in English for now so that everyone sees what I do. So when you're doing footers on websites, you usually have one of two options. Either you can use the built-in team footer. Um, and the footer is, of course, this part of the website here. And the built-in team footer, you can access it from customize. And within customize, you have, at least when you use the Neve team, you have an option for footer. And here you can do some changes to the footer and, and show some different widgets. Um, Jona used another version. She used the Elementor Pro version, which is incredibly more powerful. So you have a lot more options there. So that's what we're looking at now. I'll just do these updates here because whenever you're in a site that you built yourself and that you actually know what you did there, always run the updates, make sure that everything is up to date so that you don't have any problems with security risks and things there. So let's look at the footer. Here we have the footer. Now, what I think has happened, but I don't know either. You see that, um, so I'm selecting this item here that is missing. And then under advanced, Johanna, mm, you have I found, I saw responsive. It. There is so hide on mobile. It's hidden on mobile. Why? So if oh. we take that away, then everything is good. <laughs> I knew it was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not easy, not easy at all. <laughs> So this is working. Uh, let's check mobile here. So this all looks good. Of now. course. It's fine. Ah. So that was the issue. I mean, very simple, but um, with especially with Elementor Pro and WordPress in general, there is so many teeny tiny things there. Um, you just have to start understanding what, what can happen and, um, and how to fix it. So that is working again. We're good with that. Um, for the rest, I think the site looks actually quite good. I mean, you need to fix those internal links. Those are not ideal right now. So make sure you don't have more than one link on, on one page. 
to another page, I mean, then, then everything is good. Does that make sense what I said there or? Yes, yes, I know what you mean. Um, so here you also have, do you see the, the difference here with the outline? So here it starts more to the left. Mm, yeah, yes. I have actually, uh, I have fixed those quite a lot in manually because I, I didn't check those. No, if they come from those the when I page, made I mean, the first page because yeah. I have used that in other pages. So I remember that next time. Goes back, but I mean, um, it's just, it, it doesn't really matter like so much. It's just that I think it's, I mean, a bit ugly. So we just fix it. So let's put this on 2020. Oh, now it's still different. <laughs> what did you do here? <laughs> <laughs> let's see, zero. And here we have an intersection, I guess. Oh, you don't make it easy for me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Five, no, 10, no, 15. <laughs> Closer, yeah, not perfect still, but let's try 20. Yeah, better already. Mm, yeah. Quite plus. Yes. All right, do you have any other questions, Joanna, or that was it? Uh, okay, well, I have one. Hey, it was here, the latest blog posts. Uh-huh. That one, there's, um, the text is now in centered, the excerpt or, or uh -huh. total. Um, if I go, if I put it to the left, it's too, uh, too, uh, uh, too close to, to left side. Okay. So I fixed it now in centered way, but I think it would be best better if there is some padding, but I don't know. I, I think it's totally fine to be honest. Um, okay. I think you, you took a problem, you solved it. Um, these are like some of the, I have spent, I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on trying to make these things exactly as <laughs> I want to. And the main thing I have learned there is that you will never really get it the way you want. So yeah. sometimes it's just, I mean, whatever happens there let it be i mean if you've solved it this way i think it is good it looks yeah. fine um so i think this is this is totally fine the only thing i would do here maybe i mean this read more link plus this link here it's maybe a little bit much i would just take the read more link away because uh -huh. okay. they can click on the title and they can go to the page it's also mm -hmm. a better anchor text all right. I would just take that one away, but it's a small thing. It's not, I mean, it doesn't really make so much of a difference. Okay. So these things, I mean, so if it looks okay-ish, I mean, don't, unless it is like the most important thing in the world, but I think this, I mean, left center, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think you solved it in a good way. This is totally fine like this. Mm, okay, good. Anything else? No. Nope. So this is, I think, a good site. Um, does anyone else have a site they want me to look at or? Nobody? Where is my thing? No. You guys can still hear me, right? Ah, oh, here. Just yes. trying to open the chat as well. See if Tracy is saying anything. Nope. Uh, so I have one site here, which um, I think this is a very good site. It's an English site, of course. Uh, before I do that, let me just change this back to Finnish. Otherwise, I will forget it. And Johanna and Sana will never forgive me. So just changing this back to Finnish. Good. Gone. Away. Um, so this site um, is an English site. I think it's really good, but it does one thing that I see quite a bit on other sites as well that, that is not so good. Um, it's fixed a little bit here. Uh, that's good. I was hoping it was not fixed yet. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I still find the page. No. 
you can still see it a little bit. It was clearer with um, with the different sections on the sides, but here you have two parts of text that are basically exact copies of the of the section in Elementor. Um, the colors have changed a little bit now, but it used to have like this blue bottom color somehow. It's very clear that they're copies of each other. Um, copying stuff in Elementor is one of its very powerful features that makes it really easy to build a site. But try to make sure that when you build a website that um, everything fits together there and that the whole page looks good. And copying different sections like this usually makes it look a whole lot less interesting for people. So what I would do with these two sections here, of course the colors have changed already. I would just line this out on the left maybe or on the right, put an image here just to break it up a bit so that the whole site looks a little bit better. For the rest, of course, totally fine, but that's just one of the things that I would change there. Um, anything else here? Here you see it again. I mean, one section, two section, three section, exactly the same of each other. The only thing is here the color changed. Um, it's okay, but it doesn't really look like a, like a nice site. So these things, they need a little bit of love. And the easiest way to solve that is just to take a template that has a lot of different features in it and copy from there. Then it makes it a little bit easier. Here again, the same thing. I mean, copy, copy, copy. It just, uh, it doesn't really make it too nice, the whole site. This is good, of course. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have also for this week. So it, it, do you guys have any more questions or things you want me to look at or things you have been wondering for a long time? I have something I've been wondering since an hour ago. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's in the plugins. Um, I've got a templates pattern collection. Uh, I've never come across that patterns collection, sorry. Uh, I, I was just wondering what it was. In Elementor or? Uh, yeah, well, no, I've not opened Elementor yet. I'm just doing the customizing I on was one of the websites. Yeah. Okay. So where, let me just put it back to English. Sorry, it was, it's, in, it's in the plugins I've opened on one of the command sites. Do you notice, can you Skype me the sites? Then I just log into that site. We look from there. It, uh, it's swamicasino.com. Mm. Sorry, one more time. Swami, S-W-A-M-I, casino.com. Interesting name for a website. <laughs> Indian website. So I was just, I'd, I've been adding the plugins and then noticed, I'd, I'd, we actually didn't have Elementor Pro, so Sana's put that up, but now I've got this mm. templates pattern collection. And my other question is I've noticed now we've got enable auto updates on this that I've never seen before. Yeah, sometimes. So which uh, first, which one were you talking about with uh, this template patterns collection? This one. Collection. You know? Yeah. Just what, what is it? So when you import a team template from Neve, sometimes yeah. it uses um, external um, information that is collected in a plugin. So different templates, different blocks, different sections, things like that. So to make this template work, it needs this actual plugin to be installed. Otherwise it doesn't work. So okay. very often, I mean, the easiest example is if you, have a, if you have a context form in one of the page templates, usually yes, it needs an external is. template, yeah. uh, an external plugin for the context form. Okay, so it's, like it's, it's come with the, the theme I've chosen, which I've yes. not worked on yet. Yeah, okay. exactly. So that's why it shows up here. Um, you can try to turn it off and see if everything still works like to figure out, I mean, which, what is actually being used in the yeah. template through this plugin or not. Um, so that is something you want to have to look at. Um, external plugins are not bad for WordPress at all, but there's two things that are very important there. One is to keep them up to date. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why sometimes we, we have these enable auto updates. Basically, it means like it will be automatically updated so that you don't have to do it manually. And updating is important, of course, for security risks. Um, and two, it is also that um, a 
plugin needs to be well coded. So WordPress, unlike the Apple Store or the Play Store, they don't actually check what kind of plugins people write. So you can have plugins that um, are very badly coded that make your site extremely slow or that um, actually open up back doors so that people can log into your site without you knowing and things like that. So whenever you use plugins, make sure that you really, really need them and two, um, that they're actually safe to use. So check the reviews, check, I mean, if it's recently updated, things like that. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm not into putting plugins I've not been advised to use. No, so no, exactly. I'm trying to I mean, identify what they are. Um, so is, I've just updated this one about, about 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So I updated them all, and this is when all the enable updates came up, and I was just checking, should I click them or just keep updating them myself? Um, it, so these websites, I wouldn't do it. Um, so the, what, what, what do you think? I mean, do you have any idea what the trade-off is, auto updates, yes or no? No. So the trade-off is um, any update that you do on the site can actually break something. Um, right. So oh. WordPress just, up, so uh, maybe you notice like Apple, um, they just updated to iOS 14 um, and all the developers went crazy because they only got one day notice. And whenever Apple does a core update, that means that all the developers that have apps out there, they also need to do updates to actually support um, to support the update. And it's the same with WordPress. So, right. so that, if you that have could mess up the site. It, it can mess up the site a lot. So it, on the one hand, it makes it easy if you don't check the site too much so that you actually have the updates going through. On the other hand, it is also very easy for something to break there. Um, so I usually keep them turned off. We're actually working on a feature in Word app where you get these update notifications in the website manager. So then it becomes a lot easier to manage them through the website manager, especially if you have a lot of websites. Um, so I would not turn these on right here. I would okay. just check it manually. Yeah. Um, well, and that's that. I mean, whenever you do an update, always check if the site is actually still working as it should be. Um, I've not built it yet, so... <laughs> No, it's in general. It's the same with okay. this auto-optimize. If you delete cache or things like that, just whenever you do something on a site and you, you think you're finished, take the domain URL, just open up an incognito window, copy it in there. So incognito means there's no cookies and things like that. Just see if it still looks the way you actually wanted it to look or if something has changed there. So Does anybody else have problem if i want to work in customize on word app i have to go to incognito it just freezes every single time or is so so opening it's ridiculous so at the moment because i'm on customize i'm working in the incognito mm -hmm. site um and this has been going on now for about three weeks I, once i start working on the site i can go back to my normal pages it probably means that you have some kind of um um, some kind of wrong cookie there for some reason that is affecting all the sites. I have it on one particular site as well. I can never get into customize. I always have to do with incognito. Uh, I'm just, I mean, I don't want to delete all my cookies and things like that, but that, that's the solution yeah. there. That really messed up my computer the other yeah. day when it, uh, it did it itself for some reason. Okay. So yeah, that, that's the thing there. Anyone else, anything or... Nobody. Tracy is very quiet because she's in the chat. So let's see if there's anything in the chat. Uh, uh, Tracy, so Tracy is asking in the chat, like I, I asked for some feedback in an email. Um, Tracy, this is the place for feedback. So if you have anything specific here that you want to look at, I mean, then let's look at it now. Um, but otherwise, I mean, we'll, we'll have to look at it next week. I mean, this is what the when, uh, Monday webinars are for to actually answer questions so that everybody else can see it as well and also help each other. So I can look at your email. I can see if there's anything there, but I mean, the last email I got from you was a bit generic. So I don't know what the actual questions are there. So the easiest is to prepare it for the Monday webinar so that I can go over it in the webinar. So if you send me an email with all the questions there, then I can go through it. Anyone else, anything? Um, not from me. No? 
No. So, Joanna, you, you finished your side, Joanna. Um, how many sides will you... Did you talk with, uh, with, with Sana about capacity that you have there or not yet? Not yet. Okay, so we're building tons and tons of websites. Um, so make sure that you talk to Sana and say, I mean, discuss with her what your capacity is. I mean, if you can build one site a week, two sites a week, three sites a week, then she can try and make sure that there is enough sites for you so that you can actually work on some things. Should be good. Okay. 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 Then I'll be closing it up, guys. Thanks so much. Um, if you have anything until next week, Monday, please do send me an email. Try to be clear. Uh, most of the stuff I'm going through in the webinars um, instead of emailing and answering people one by one. So this is really the place to be. I hope you guys found this a bit helpful and that we answered some questions. Uh, and if you want to join again, join on Mondays. I mean, whether you're doing batch four or not, it's usually interesting and something new to learn. So do, do tell people to join. Yes, Great, I guys. think this is very useful because we can learn from other sites. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So, I mean, anyone that is working on a site, I mean, just tell them like, join the webinar, I mean, and join yourself as well. It's always a good thing to, to go through. Okay, guys, thanks so much and um, good luck with all you're doing. Uh, there's plenty of tasks available. There was a bit of an issue with Word Up this morning. It was fairly slow and the surveys were not working, but it should all be solved now. So I hope you guys uh, can still do some more work there. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, folks. Bye.